What's up digital creators? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create hyper-optimized images on your website using Web Studio's image component. To get started using the image component, head over to your components and under media, you'll find the image component. Drag that onto your canvas and you'll now see a preview of your new image instance. From there, we want to upload our own image. We can do so by going into the settings panel and choosing the source. You can either pick an image that you already have in your library or upload a new one on your device. When you upload an image, Web Studio will automatically optimize that image by doing a couple of things. First is it will create multiple responsive variants of that image so that only the right image size is loaded up on the right device size, saving on performance. It will also automatically convert your image into both WebP and AVIF formats and deliver those formats on browsers that support it as it's a much more modern image format that loads faster modern browsers. With your source image selected, we can then define alt text, which is the text that's used for both search engines as well as screen readers to understand what is in the image. And we can decide if we want the loading of this image to be either eager or lazy. By default, all images will be set as lazy loading images. What that means is they only start loading onto your page as they enter the user's viewport. This is great for images that you have that are below the fold that don't need to load immediately and therefore improve your initial website load times. On the other hand, if you're using an image above the fold, so in an area that would load when your page loads, you'd set that image as loading to eager. That way the image will load as the page loads and the user doesn't see a pop-in of an image as it's loading. For this case, let's set our image to eager loading. Under the style panel, I'm then going to start styling my image. Now, there are a few base styles that you should set for all of your images. They are the width or height and aspect ratio. You want to set these to prevent any layout shifts when your page is loading. A layout shift happens when the browser loads a page that doesn't know the size of an image. You will experience this on some websites when you see parts of the page jump as they restructure as the image is loading in. To prevent this, we simply need to define our width. I'm going to set to 100% height which I'll leave to auto as well as the aspect ratio which Web Studio automatically configures for you when you upload an image you can also change it yourself if you needed a different ratio for example I could make something square by setting a ratio of one or I could make it more of a landscape view by making it 16 by 9 and that's it you have now created optimized image on your Web Studio website